Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to make this animation with After Effects. Let's get started. So friends, welcome back and first step, let's create new background layer. Right mouse, new and solid layer. And I will use these colors for my project. Let's click airdrop icon and let's select this color. Change background layer like this, click OK and let's move to behind let's hide layer and go to shape layers hold this icon let's create new rendered rectangle tool and make one shape layer like this clearization tool and move to center let's enable title action save and let's move to center like this okay so in this time let's select the shape layer change name web up and select this layer open inside rectangle one and rectangle pet one let's change roughness okay and let's select this web up control d change name web down okay select this up let's go to solo and open inside here select this rectangle pet one Let's right mouse, click convert to bezel pad. And go to pen tool, hold this icon. Let's select this delete vertex tool. And let's delete these vertex points. Okay, click session tool and unsolo. So select this web up and go to fill. Let's use this color. Click OK. And select this web down. Let's use this white color. Click OK. Select this web up. Let's move that up. OK, nice. And enable background layer. Let's close action save. OK, that's good. So let's select this web down and change stroke width 5. And web up, change also 5. OK, we can change stroke color like this and let's copy code control c select web up and paste color so right now let's go to shape layers and create rectangle tool let's make one rectangle like this clearization tool and change color to blue click ok and let's select this layer let's change name blue Okay, and move to here. Let's control D for duplicate. Move to right. And let's go to fill. Change color. Let's use yellow. Let's try change yellow like this. Okay, change name yellow. Okay, and let's duplicate this yellow. Move to right. and go to fill let's use color green click ok so select the three rectangle tools and let's move to center like this and let's select this yellow change green and select this green yellow blue and go to here search let's write here size okay and i want to make size animation click these icons and let's try change size like this select this copy and let's put here this size and move to left this move to right okay not bad and let's go to one second make size j frames go to first second and change size zero and this zero and this select three frames let's make easy go to graph editor select this graph let's make graph like this okay select this graph move to left okay back to three frames select last three frames move to right okay that's good so select these three frames first three frames move to right 
and change this size keyframes okay let's move right like this and select these keyframes go to graph editor again and select these graphs move to right like this okay not bad so back to keyframes and let's click size search and I want to step by step animation first green and let's select this yellow move to right and green move to right okay nice so select these shape layers let's move to right and right now let's make animation for this shape layer select this and right here size click this icon and make size keyframe move to right and change size zero select keyframes make easy go to graph editor make smooth graph back to keyframes and move to right last keyframe okay so select this web app and let's open inside let's open pet and I want to make animation for this let's press s click this icon and go to here make sketch frame go to first second and don't forget to move the anchor point here center classification 2 and change scale 0 select sketch frames make easy okay let's go to graph editor make graph like this okay not bad let's move right this and right now let's create new null object hold control double click from behind icon and select these web layers link to null object select this null and go to first second press p move to down make new person chain frame go to 10 chain frame for shortcut you can use hold shift press page down in chamber and move to up go to 10 chain frame move to down again go 10 chain frame move to up and again move to down and again move to up select chain frames let's make easy okay so let's go to here and select these web layers press u select chain frames and move to right okay and select null object hold shift press s go to here make scale chain frame click this icon and go to here change scale zero select scale chain frames make easy and move to left let's see okay that's good so in this time select these blue yellow and green layers let's link to web down okay and move to left move to left like this okay that's good so let's hide these colors and go to characters first let's select these character layers let's right mouse pre compass add name character one click ok and let's control c back to here control v press s change scale let's open composition and go to click region of interest let's select region and composition crop come to region of interest okay select all layers let's move to down click this icon for c background okay and back to composition let's select this character one let's move to here and move to here this layer select this blue Control d move to up select character one and if you not see this part click toggle switch mode and go to known alpha mate blue 2 and let's link to blue layer let's move right let's see nice so let's back to characters and let's delete character one select these character layers 
right mouse, pre compass, add name, girl, click OK. And select this next character, right mouse, pre compass, add name, character, last. Click OK. So open your conversation. Go to again region of interest. Let's select region like this. Go to conversation, crop comp to region of interest. Nice. And go to character last. Again, region of interest. Conversation, crop comp to region of interest. Nice. And back to characters. Select this your conversation. Control C, back to web users. Control V. And move to here. Select yellow. Control D, move to up. Select yellow. Change alpha mate yellow to. And link to yellow layer let's change scale okay let's change a little bit okay so back to characters select this character last control c back to users control v and move to here select this green control d move to up select this green last change alpha mate and move to here press s change scale and move it down nice so close all settings and let's see okay nice and let's select this character last let's link to yellow okay that's good and let's move right like this so let's open character one and make simple animation So select this hit, go to solo and move the anchor point down. Click session two and let's press air. Hold alt, click this time icon. I will use expressions for loop animation. Let's write here wiggle two nine. Let's see. Okay, let's change this six. Let's change this one for slow animation. Okay, not bad. We can change a little bit to eight. Nice. Let's unsolo. Go for a second. And select these eyes, mods, eyebrow. Let's link to here. Select these eyes, link to here. Okay, let's delete these eyes. Okay, so select these eyes, press S, click this icon, and make sketch a frame, go to 3 chain frame 1 to 3, change scale 5, go to 3 chain frame 1 to 3, change scale 100. Select sketch a frames, control C and control V for random eye blink animation. Let's see. Okay, so this is hit animation is not enough for me and let's select this here press air hold alt click this rotation i want to make manual chain frames make rotation chain frame and go to 10 chain frame chain rotation 10 and go to here make rotation chain frame go to 10 chain frame change minus 10 or minus 5. select chain frames make easy let's see Okay, go to here, make again new rotation, go to 10 keyframe, change 6, and go to here, make new rotation keyframe, go to 10 keyframe, change minus 2, and I want to bounce animation, go to first second, select this here, hold shift, press P, make new passing keyframe, and go to center, move to down, go to last keyframe, select first keyframe, copy pass, select keyframes, make easy or click F9. And let's copy this code, Control C, go to here, paste shape frames. Let's see. Okay, looks good. So, select this here, let's link to body, select body and move the anchor point down. And click station tool, press P, make new passing shape frame, go to 10 shape frame, move to down, go to 10 shape frame, select first shape frame, copy pass. And make shape frames easy. Let's see. Okay, let's go to here, select first keyframe, move up a little bit. 
okay go to here and hold shift press air make rotation chain frame and go to last chain frame chain rotation three or two and make chain frames easy let's see okay let's move to left select chain frames hold alt move to left okay select these passing chain frames let's move to down Let's move to down a little bit. Okay, so go to here and make new rotation chain frame. Go to 10 chain frame and change minus 2. Select passing chain frames, copy pass, move to here. Okay, nice dynamic animation. Not bad. And again, make new rotation. Go to 10 chain frame, change 1. And select passing chain frames, control C, control V, move to here. And let's move right okay not bad so let's see here okay very nice so I will use some techniques some ways for other characters I will use again rotate here animation body animation and eyes for your character and for character last so thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like video and please follow me on Instagram. Good luck.